Hi, so let's talk about DNA transposons. Okay, so DNA transposons are class 2 transposons. I'm not sure how they classify it, but RNA transposons are class 1. These are class 2, and it makes up about 2.9% of our human genome. So it does not seem like a lot, but considering that um, all the genes that make up you, like the genes that make all your enzymes or all your metabolic pathways, that make all your um, proteins like your collagen, keratin, that build you, your hardware. Yeah, all these, all these proteins that build, yeah, just build you, are condensed. They are like they only make up two to four percent of your entire genome. So considering that two point nine percent of your genome is made up of DNA transposons, which are these, that do almost nothing but cut and paste themselves. Well, now um, we, like the researchers, are finding out more uses for these DNA transposons. But so far, all we know that of that, like what they can do, uh, basically they just cut and paste themselves. That's all. So, now, uh, let's look at the structure of it, and at the end, we have terminal inverted repeat. Okay, terminal because at the end, inverted because, well, they're inverted. That means if you have A, T, T, C here, you start with A, T, T, C, you end with C, T, T, A. Of course, on the same strand. Yeah, so that is what it means by inverted. And um, this over here, the purple color thing, are your target sites. So target sites. Target for your enzyme transposes. And because it appears on both ends and the direct repeats, which is ATT, ATCG on one strand, this is just an example. I'm not sure if there are real enzymes that have that target site. But ATCG on one strand, on the other strand is also ATCG, on the other side, sorry. Yeah, so it is a direct repeat. Okay, that's why we call them target site duplications. So T S D. Okay, so in the middle, um, these are involved with the transposase enzymes. So some transposons might not have this transposase structural gene, and those that don't have, they can't move on their own, so they are called non-autonomous. But for those that have the structural gene inside, well, you can fit anything inside really because the main parts that the transposons, the transposase deal with, the genes that, the proteins that um, transpose your, that shift, that help with the cut and paste, the main parts that it deals with is here. So as long as these are more or less the same, your gene can still jump, but it just needs a little help. So for this, it's autonomous one, okay? Because it can make its own um, transposase. So after translation, trans, sorry, transcription, then translation, then you get your enzyme. This is your transposase enzyme, okay? Uh, you have two actually, you need two later. But, alright, I'll just tell you what it does now. It will excise the DNA which is to cut cut out from here. And then you will paste it somewhere else. Oh, sorry. Paste the DNA, which is the um, integration. Yeah, so this these two functions are also seen in your integrase enzyme. The one that you uh, see in the HIV video. Um, if you haven't already, go and watch. Yeah, HIV replication. Um, it's about the same enzyme, and it's also found in retrotransposons. I mean, I'm not sure about the, whether it's the same structurally, but functionally, it's about the same. Okay, so this is how it replicates. Okay, first step. So first, you have excision done by your transposase enzyme. Okay, what you'll do is you'll bind to the edges here. So your binding is the first step. 
and then you dimerize, bringing this to form a little group like this. This is your transposis dimer. Can you see it? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's over here. These two circles. They're the transposis dimer. So now, after it forms a dimer, it will excise it by removing these two ends here. Oops. Okay. Sorry. Um. Oops, sorry, sorry. Yeah. So, sorry, it's so fail. Um, yeah. But you can imagine, right, it was here, and now it's cut out of the DNA. So, after this, this is another chromosome. Yeah, it can be on the same chromosome or a different chromosome, doesn't really matter. But let's say it transposes to another chromosome. Okay, so that was chromosome A. Now we go to chromosome B. So we'll float around and you'll look for chromosome B. Specifically, it looks for the target site, which is in this case ATCG TAGC on the other strand. So once it finds the target site, it will start integrating it into the target site. So it will go here and you'll make a staggered cut. Um, it's cut out already, so you can see it's like that. This is kind of like um, your restriction enzymes. So after it makes the cut, it will insert it in. So here, it will insert it in like that. And then after it inserts it in, its job is done. So it dissociates. Like this. So after dissociating, you can see there's a little gap here. It kind of looks like a single stranded brick. So your DNA repair enzymes in the host cell, yeah, it will refill the gap to fix the gap. And that is how your target your target sites have been duplicated. Can you see? Now you have two copies. That's the mechanism of the duplication. So what it left the previous where it cut out, it left it with um your double stranded DNA break, which your um repair enzymes has to fix also. Yeah. And if you see previously it was just this target site. But now after you cut out and fix, it'll be like that. So you have your target site is duplicated. Extra. Okay. Yeah. And that is basically the mechanism for the cutting and pasting, the transposition of DNA transposon. And the next video, we have um, the mechanism for the transposition of RNA transposons. Yeah, and uh, thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.